Okay guys, I'm coming real time with this one. Um, Oreo has a new cookie out, but you have to guess the flavor. It's white cream like the original and chocolate cookie. And um, you have to guess what it is. That is scary. Hmm. What do you guys think? Have you seen this in your Walmarts? Let me know in the comments section. Okay, guys, it's Age Graceful, aka Michelle. I am at Walmarts. I did go ahead and throw, throw the uh, mystery Oreos into my basket. Today is my son's birthday, and I asked him what he would like to eat. And uh, he's 41 today, so no big deal. He's like, Mom, whatever you prepare, uh, I hadn't much thought about it. So I'm going to give him a choice between my juicy onion burger or Shelly style Popeye's chicken sandwich. Which one do you think he'll pick? If he picks the Popeye's copycat sandwich, then I'll be back today to record that video. If not, then I'll do it in a couple of days. All right, keep on the lookout. Guys, I had to throw in this picture of these chicken feet, or as they call them, chicken paws. This brings back so many memories of when I was younger my good friend her dad would like to boil them and have them with rice they're very good to make stock for your dressing or stuffing during thanksgiving had to show those next up i saw some pre-sliced or pre-paired chicken breasts but they were too costly so I opted for just a regular packet, which I brought home and washed and butterflied, as you see here in this dish. Um, they were on the thicker side, and I don't like big, thick pieces of meat on my sandwiches. I pre prefer to butterfly them, as you see here. And it makes, makes for a more tenderer cut of uh, meat and easier to bite into when you bite your sandwich. I'm gonna soak my chicken breast in cultured buttermilk. Then, as the sneaky chef does, and this is not actually the sneaky part of this video, I'm just gonna use Frank's Red Hot Sauce and I'm gonna use um, black pepper and my soul seasoning that I purchase from save a lot to season these breasts as you see here I have now uh, put the buttermilk on the hot sauce and you can uh, add as much hot sauce as you like I don't like to over season because you can always add later onto your individual sandwich but I want it where everybody can enjoy the food and taste the food. If you cover it up full of too much salt, pepper, and hot sauce, it's like, what are you trying to hide? You know, go ahead and, um, you know, just add a little bit at a time because you can always add, but you cannot take away. Now guys, I'm just going to store these breasts in the refrigerator anywhere from uh, an hour to 24 hours before frying them. Now I'm getting a pan with some vegetable oil hot. And as I do that, I'm going to shake my breast in some regular all-purpose flour. In the meantime, I have sliced some onions, which I'm going to saute in a couple of tablespoons of butter. So good. Now my oil is ready. I'm going to shake the breast into 
uh, the flour one more time and I'm going to lay them into the hot oil. Look at that bubble and sizzle. You want some screaming hot oil, but you do not want it burnt. You do not want a burnt taste going through your food. Guys, I tell you, I was super excited to do this copycat Popeye's chicken sandwich. Everybody on YouTube has been doing a slightly different version. So I said, self, why don't you pull out your sneaky chef plaque and do your version. Do it Shelly style. That's short for Michelle style. And we'll see how it comes out. Bet you it will be good. Now, guys, I'm preparing to turn my chicken breast. I fried these breasts in between five and seven minutes until they're nice and golden brown. Don't they look beautiful? Okay, everyone, I have taken my chicken out of the skillet and I have it draining on some paper towel. So now I have my condiments set up. I have some garlic sauce, which is unique to Mediterranean foods. And so I said, I'll try that instead of a mayo-based uh, sauce. I have my sweet butter pickles and I have my own honey barbecue sauce some American cheese slices, my saute onions, and look at these butterfly chicken breasts. Don't they look wonderful? For my bread, I decided to use some onion hamburger buns, and these have poppy seeds and onions on top of them. They're not the onion rolls like for corned beef. These are onion hamburger buns, so they're not as dense and thick and they're really soft. They have a soft texture, slightly sweet, and they're very yummy on any type of sandwich. It doesn't have to be just a hamburger. You can put ham, turkey, whatever you like, tuna, chicken salad, turkey salad. Turkey salad is going to be coming next. So now it's time for my son to prepare his sandwich. Let's see how he builds his. Since it was my son's birthday, I asked him to choose the largest piece of chicken, but he graciously left the larger pieces for Mr. G and I. Wasn't that sweet? On my son's sandwich, he elected to use the Mediterranean garlic sauce, American cheese, and the sauteed onions. A little bit later, he did add a little bit of the barbecue sauce, but no pickle for him. As a side dish with this sandwich, I fixed french fries, but I didn't have enough. So the sneaky chef snuck in these broccoli and potato fries. I fried them all together. They were very good. We got to get in those veggies, you guys. I uh, thank you all for watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. You're going to be seeing my sandwich next. I had it all. Take care. Bye.